Okay, I'm gonna get ready here and clean these up and get ready to glue together. First thing I need is a little acetone. Clean up these ends so I glue them together. Rag. Get some acetone on it. Clean these pipes up. Clean the inside of your inside of your caps up here. Okay, those two are those two are ready. Put some glue on them and get them glued together. We can set them aside to dry. Now these, when you glue them together, you need to make sure the holes are to the center of the pipe. So when you get your latex envelope over, the holes will be sucking from the uh, from the inside. If you put them on the outside, they'll get covered with the latex and they won't do you any good. So, let's take and clean these up. Go to the other side. Now when we do this side, we'll have to make sure that we, we get these on here where these are straight and not cockeyed at an angle. Set that, that one to the side and leave it dry. One more to go here. Make sure we get this on the right way. So you can get your side pipe coming in here and the vacuum will go in this side. Okay. Like I said, we'll just put those aside to dry. Okay. These are all the parts to put the vacuum bed together as far as the framework goes. Holes go to the inside. Pieces that are here are glued on. And all you need to do is put all these others together. I said, keep your holes to the inside. Next thing I'll do is I'll start working on the envelope for the vacuum bed. Get it all set up. Uh, and we'll go from there. It's very easy to take apart. Usually twist the pieces a little bit. They'll all come apart. Like I said, it makes it very nice for, for transporting. Transporting it or, or storing it. It's a very small space. So let's go on to the, to the latex now. Okay, moving on to the latex. We need over six foot per side on the latex. Start with the bottom color. I have to 
trim this off to where it's square. Okay, there's our <coughs> one square edge. See if we got enough here to do this. That's enough for the bottom. Now we'll open up the other one. Okay, that's our envelope. Let me get my papers here again and wrap this back up. Now, the next thing we'll have to do is glue them, glue them together and make provisions for the inlet hook the vacuum cleaner up to it and we'll go from there okay we're back we're going to start gluing these two envelopes together or two sheets of latex together to, to make the envelope get it set up here so we can Glue them together. I usually like marking them, putting what they call witness marks on them, so you can tell where you're at and that you're not stretching the latex a lot. and clean these we'll get glue on them then okay that's just about all <clears throat> just about all relaxed on that color or on that one My piece of paper I use to keep the glue off my table and I should be able to take and get glue on this one. Okay, that's that edge all glued, or glue on that edge. See, by cleaning the this one here, and we can start putting glue on this one. Okay, it's got that one. We'll leave this set a few minutes and uh, leave the solvents evaporate out of it. Then we'll flip them over and glue them together. Okay, this is set up enough that I can start gluing it together. Got the glue on it. It's all relaxed. Start at one side.
gently lay it down. Gently push it down. Get your seam roller. Roll it down tight. That's got uh, got that. I got this all laid out. I'm going to take and uh, put my witness marks on it again. So I know where I'm at. Every so often put a witness mark. Go around the other side and do the same. That's got all our witness marks. Okay, we've got all of them marked. Deciding what I'm going to do here. I'll take my, my weights and move them off. I need to get the powder off of this and all the grime. So your glue will stick. Get our brush and our glue. Start getting glue on this edge. Put your paper down and away you go. Okay, that's got the glue all the way down on that one. Let's move this again. It gets set up so we can get glue on the bottom one. This one you do the same way. Clean it, put your glue on it, leave it set up, and then you can stick them together. Let me start here again and we'll start getting glue on the edge. We'll come back once this dries so we can put it together. Okay, we're going to see if we can get this set up and get it glued together here. Once you get it all glued down, you need to seam roll it. Set that seam good and tight. Come back and work on these other ends a little later. We'll end up folding those over some so uh, goes around the corner a little better. Want to take and turn this around so we can do the other side. <laughs> 